Hello everyone, welcome back to Doc's Custom Corner. Got a few show rods tonight as what everybody's voted for to see here. I was going to call it, kind of pull a fast one on you and put a bunch of customs out there and say, well, since y'all voted for show rods, we'll do customs. But tonight we'll just do a few little show rods here. Uh, one in the back is an old built up from way back when that I did as a youngster. We're not going to get into that, but that's the original Red Baron kit. The other two that are on the outside flanks here are uh, bits and pieces of Red Barons, but not quite all Red Barons. This particular one here is uh, Ed Roth, uh, Beatnik Bandit 2, I think, the kit. Pretty much a um, box, except for the engines, uh, bits and pieces of other engines. Again, here's the heavy Chevy Chevelle supercharger and blower setup. As mentioned before, I know I said that I like to use that setup, so there's another one. <laughs> the helmet right now, I'm thinking about changing the helmet out. I've been working around a couple ideas for a long time now. I took a, a, another helmet bleh, and chopped it down. Thought about putting a chopped helmet on there, having it just shoot it with clad or something and put that one on there, but I haven't decided what I want to do totally yet. But still tossing around some ideas. <clears throat> Getting a little bit of glare off the helmet there from the lights around here, but lights do help. Like I say, it's pretty much out of the box except for the engine and the chrome helmet on it. Chrome helmet just took the place of the the bubble that would normally be on the Roth kit. Use red Sharpie marker to do the red outline around the wheels just to give it the, the red line look. Used a pearl clear coat over the red to give it that pearl look. It's a dupla color color or clear. Alrighty, back again. Nothing else is being done in the basement with a furnace. It gives me a chance to kind of move things around a little bit. <laughs> Pause the video and wait and move things around. Wait for the furnace to shut down. Um, move the blue car to the front. Um, on this one here, I, I don't know if anybody else does it or not, but I like to give my cars some names sometimes. This one I called the Red Light Bandit. This one I called, I just named it Blue Max. Just after because of blue and whatever. This one I dubbed Switchblade 327. We'll get to that one here in a minute. Um, the Blue Max car here in the front has got the Red Baron back half of the body. The Red Baron body, this body here, is integrated into the car, but it also uses the front end off the uh, Boyd's Aluma Coupe. I cut it up the middle, pinched it together to get it to match up to the cowl of the Red Baron body. I don't know if you can, you know, the bottom's all filled in, but. Then he uses bits and pieces off the Red Baron kit, the oil pan, the, the header, the guns, the sight on the front. They're all off of the Red Baron kit. <clears throat> Fuel tank in the back, everything out back is too. Tires and wheels, I don't know where. These are different from the Red Baron kit. I don't know where they ever came from. They're out in my parts box. Got a Ford baby moon hubcap inside. Front axle, I forget what I took that off of. It came off of a dragster, dragster kit. I'm not sure which one it came off of, but. <clears throat> Colder weather here in Wisconsin. I've been battling a head cold here for a while, so. Sorry for all my clearing my throat and everything. That's that one. This is just a quick, easy throw together build. But turned out good. Came out to be a nice looking car when I got it done. I was kind of pleased with the way it turned out. And one in the front. Moved it around a little bit again. It's a 59 El Camino. Started out as. <laughs> I shortened the bed on it, I think, by about an inch. Took about an inch section out of the back, brought it in shortened it up 
There's no bed floor in the back, it's just all frame. Uh, 59L Camino chassis up to the firewall. From there up front is uh, Mysterion, the Ed Roth Mysterion show rod, front half. Uh, roof is unchopped. I did not chop the top on this one. The back half, tail section is uh, Ed Roth Mysterion as well, integrated into the fins. Side pipe, oh, don't want to drop it here. Headers and side pipes are off the Mysterion kit. Tires and wheels, uh, the rear tires and wheels are for sure. Uh, actually, they're out of a little coffin, or the, yeah, a little coffin. Uh, I think of it, I think the side pipes are too. Been a while since I built this thing. Painted with Tamiya purple, Tamiya silver on the roof, and then I use that dupa color pearl clear over top of it to give it the gives it a different look, different looking color. Here you can see inside the bed a little bit. <clears throat> Not much to the suspension and the chassis. The rear suspension where the you, the rear end dog legs out like this in the back too. <clears throat> I cut it and pinched it together and then narrowed it up just to make it as narrow as possible to hold the rear suspension in place. And from here forward, this is where I built in the Mysterion frame. Other than that, the whole belly underneath here, this is all 59 El Camino. As is the back half, I just trimmed all the floorboard away from the back half. Keep in mind, this is a show rod. Some of you probably notice there's no drive shaft in it, so it gets pushed around a lot, I guess. Off the trailer, into the show, and back out again. <laughs> this is built off of a idea of a real car that I saw on the handboard. Guy had taken, I think it was a 60 El Camino. Did something similar to this, only his had a single engine in it. I just wanted to take it one step further and Go a little overboard like I'd like to sometimes and put the twin engines in it. Just for something a little different. But it turned out pretty nice. Not complaining, I guess. It's probably a... Well, I think I built that probably 10, 12 years ago. Got a little age on it. Well, all these cars do. I think that's about, about the same era that was built. So is that one. This one actually might have been before these two. But not too bad, though. I'll pause the video here and I'll grab a couple more really quick. All right, changing them a little bit more again. Um, the tarantula was built a long time ago as well. That was built back in the early 90s. I've always liked the tarantula, the style of it, the way the lines float on the body. Never really cared for the twin blower setup that was on it, though. So I opted to go my own route, like I do on most of my stuff. But that's another story. I ended up putting twin blowers on it versus the twin scoop setup that was on the original kit. Superchargers setups are out of the Orange Blossom Special pulling truck. And all I did... I don't know how well I can point this out to you here. Let me have something. To... All I did was took three blower ma uh, manifolds. One intake manifold is laid down on the engine block like it should be. I took the other two blower manifolds, intake manifolds, stood them up on almost like a 45 degree angle one another, glued all three of them together, and then I capped off the end plates, which is a piece of a uh, sheet plastic down the middle you can kind of see the seam where the two intakes come together valve covers I'm not sure if they came out of the kit or if they might be out of the orange blossom special I'm not sure headers are out of a 
pearl stock drag kit. Forget which one, but <laughs> the blower belts are actual rubber bands. Well, that's that one. Nothing too fancy. The uh, little bad wagon. This was built. I went to go out one day looking for something just to build a show route out of. Wanted something different and ended up at the hobby store. Um, if anybody here is around from around the Rockford, Illinois area, you, you'll know Royal Hobby. But I stopped there one day and I saw the the dollhouse furniture section there was a little red wagon metal and i saw it was like five bucks i was like you know that'd be kind of cool to do something with that radio flyer wagon like i said i took the wheels and the, the runners and everything off of it ended up integrating i think this is a bad medicine show rod body has i just you know glued them into the, the metal wagon Wanted something different. Engine's coming loose too, I can see. Get that little rump to it, a little bit of a... <laughs> anyway. Mickey Thompson tires in the rear. Got the wheelie bar out back. It's got this, you know, so you snooze, you lose in the back. And then the Sia decal. The Sia decal and the little bed wagon bad wagon decals I had them custom made just for this little project ladder bars that came I think they came up the uh, uh, the, the yellow 55 Chevy kit drag kit I forget the name of it <laughs> well, that's that one and then the one in the mountain middle it's not really a show rod but it can kind of be a show rod, I guess. All in how you look at it, I guess. For those of you that know the band Street Cats, Brian Setzer, you'll know where this came from. I'm Street Cat, Brian Setzer, kind of a fan. I've listened to Street Cats ever since I know I can remember. But Back of the album, Dig That Crazy Christmas by Brian Setzer Orchestra. There's this car right here. I always wanted to do something similar to that and then decided about five years ago to, to do it. So not exact, but it's pretty close. I'm happy with the way it turned out. Started out with the Cadillac body. Uh, the runners are evergreen rectangular tubing. Heated and curled. Put a evergreen plastic floor pan in it just to give the everything to mount to something to mount to. Nothing highly detailed, just built it for fun, just to see I could do it and have a little fun doing it. <laughs> Some people might ask, okay, why did you do it? Uh, Some pump saying, "Hi." gets cold around here the groundwater changes flow and the sub pump decides to go nuts so anyway yeah this is just built for fun just to have a little fun with and kind of make people scratch their heads wondering okay why'd you do it but uh anyway that's it for this time um next time maybe i'll have a little some customs lined up i got a couple more ideas in the bag that i'm going to try kind of start doing uh, maybe next time we'll, we'll start that new idea a little bit see how it goes if any of you guys like what's going on click the like button if you think you got some friends out there would like to see some of this stuff and bite them out have them come out and hang out on the corner a while see what kind of trouble we can cause we'll talk to you all later have a good night and uh we'll see you on the corner